If you just got your hands on a low voltage pro, you're probably anxious to find some speakers to test it on, some CCTV cameras to check the camera voltage and all of that. But it's, it's best, I think, if we take a few minutes and just give a brief introduction to the low voltage pro. It'll save you a lot of time if you know which keys do what. And so we call this our basic navigation course. This video can be found at bytebrothers.com slash LVPro, which you're going to find very helpful because we cover every test on the LV Pro with an individual video clip. Hoping you'll find that very helpful in getting you up to speed with LV Pro because there's a lot here. Now let's start with the screen. One of the reasons why people like the LV Pro is that every test is on the screen. So they aren't buried in menus, so you immediately know by looking at the LV Pro what you can and what you cannot do. It looks a little crowded, but believe me, when it's on, it is not. You will find it quite easy to navigate. Step one, after you get it, remove this Mylar label, which uh, can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. Come on. There we go. We'll remove the Mylar label and set it over there. The power button's down here. Purposely hard to get to. We'll power it up. A straight angle of view on the Low Voltage Pro is going to be quite dim. We've designed the display to be best viewed at about a 60 degree angle. and You can see how strong the display is when you're viewing it at that angle. Let's take a look at the front of the case. Got a couple of LEDs up here that will the link LED will blink if it's plugged into some kind of data device. The volts will warn you if you're plugged into voltage with certain tests. The keyboard is quite simple because what we've done is we've built in a nice directional pad. So if I use the left and the right arrow, arrow look what happens. I move over to the different cable types that the LV Pro handles and that's all the cable types made. See that? Left and right. So let's say I'm over at data cable and I want to use one of these tests. Now this is a Model 3, so Model 3 has all the apps. I simply use the down arrow. Port blink you'll find out actually blinks the link LED on a data port. It's a great way to see where the end of the cable is going into a switch. If I select this by hitting the OK button, the hammer starts hammering, saying the LV Pro is working. And it's telling me that it's blinking the ports using those two pairs on an Ethernet cable. To exit, you always press just exit and you get out. I can exit right back up to the top. Oh, let's go over here to speaker pop. I can go down to speaker pop. You can hear the popping. It uses pins 4 and 5 with our adapter to pop a speaker. I press exit to get out. So again, all these tests are treated uh, by separate videos at bitebrothers.com slash LVPro. I just want to give you an idea though of how you generally navigate the screen. Simple enough, right? Sometimes when you navigate down, like in this case when I go down to the length app, I can go to the right to do some adjustments. Then I can go back to the left. I can always exit back up. So that's the key, the OK button and the exit button. Now, we also have a couple other buttons here. If you want to do cable ID D to locate wall jacks with our wall jack uh, kits, there it is right there, cable ID. If you want to do tone, this you have to check out. Let's, uh, let's just do tone. I'm not even going to hook anything up, but I am going to grab one of our probes here. You, get, you can buy an optional probe or use anybody's probe.
And when we're done, we just press exit and we're out of it. Let's look at the back of the case. The back of the case has a battery compartment, has a little storage compartment to put uh, IDs in if you wish, uh, has your serial number down here, and it has the default settings for the VOP, that's the velocity of propagation, uh, it's a percentage of the speed of light for your average kind of cable that you'll, you'll be using with the Low Voltage Pro. This is the way it comes from the factory set up. And the reason why we make a point of that is because with this length app, you can actually set your own VOP. I'll go down there and I will, uh, it says the VOP is 70. I can go over to my adjustment knob and hit OK. And I have a couple different ways to play with the VOP of a cable. So if you ever want to know um, what the uh, standard, you know, default settings are, you can just look back here in this label. There's also a USB connector and every unit gets a USB cable even the low voltage pro ones and the purpose of the uh, USB connector uh, a number of things depending on the model you have but one of the things you can do uh, with it is you can uh, purchase more apps you know, if you want to add various applications on that you don't have, you will connect it to your computer. You will download the software from your computer, and that's why we give you this USB cable. If you have a Low Voltage Pro 3, you get the ability to do reports. And reports can be accessed by the Low Voltage Pro software. And from the low voltage software, you can even set the VOP on the tester itself. So the software is going to be a key part of this when you use it. And we have a separate video to let you know how the software works. So that kind of covers it. Here's the front of it, your three connectors. Here's the removable remote. Here's how I like to do it. I rotate it up like that, that way, and press this and remove it. When I put it back in, I put it in the slides, rotate it down a little that way, and then go like that. So boom, boom, like so. Comes out very nicely, stays in there very firmly. If you should ever have any questions about your Low Voltage Pro, please feel free to give us a call here at Byte Brothers. Thank you.